Hello there, welcome to my reaction to solo leveling. It's the power fantasy we needed by Gigak. Um, I was just watching Trash Days and I thought, why don't I do another reaction of Gigak? And the actual reaction I wanted to do when I did the last one, and I did that one because it was new, and the topic was still interesting to me. But this one I actually wanted to do the last time, which, which is about solo leveling, as is in the title. But I finished soul, reading Soul Leveling about a month, maybe two months ago at this point. Damn, time flies. Anyway, I'm not going to spoil anything. He probably is going to talk about it a bit. But also not spoiling things, because that wouldn't make sense. He probably wants to meet more people to read. Anyway, um, the only thing I want to say for people who actually read it all the way, I didn't like the ending. Tell me how you think about it, if you have feelings about it. But that's about it. I enjoyed it the whole way through until the ending, and ending was meh. But I give it 8 out of 10. Nobody cares what I give it. But here we go. I wonder what he's going to say about it. It's very cool, and I started reading it after uh, it, the whole thing came out, which I didn't know. I thought I started reading it just as is, but apparently it already ended at that time, and the new manga from Manva from the same person who made this? Someone in the same, who was connected to Soul Leveling. There's a different manga, that, manva that's coming out. I don't know, whatever. If you wanna help out the channel, please like check the links in the description below. If you don't wanna do that, just like, comment, subscribe, it also helps, and let's begin. This episode is sponsored by Tales of Luminaria. Okay. Tales of Luminaria is the latest addition to the Tales series, coming straight to your mobile as the newest real-time action played any adventure Tales games. JRPG. If you follow me, you should know that I'm already a massive fan of the Tales franchise, and I was really happy to see its spirit successfully transferred to the mobile platform. This is the closest to a traditional Tales game on your mobile you're going to get, entering a new world following characters from opposing nations in a grand story reminiscent of any Genshin. big JRPG. You have the real-time combat, complete with an art system, them any Tales fan should be familiar with. But on top of that, you have a large party of playable characters with their mm -hmm. own playstyle and unique story Some campaigns very, to play through. Cool. And don't think it's the same copy and paste campaign Morning. either. You'll be running through forests, traversing battlefields, trading up your students, or riding monsters depending on whose campaign you choose. And fear not, Gacha fans, you don't even have to roll for characters in this game. You can just play through each character's storyline as and when they are released. I repeat, you do not have to roll for characters. So all you need to do then is worry about the it's a gacha. So, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description to download it today and give it no a try gotcha? now. No gacha? And nah. with that said, let's get on with the video. Anime fans? Oh, is this one from oh, that's... fucking losers. Well, this video is off to a great start. I'm sure a lot of us weebs who got okay. into anime and manga at an early age had a similar experience when it came to our schools or the kids Teenager. around us. Some of us may have been ridiculed, some of us yeah. may have been told to grow up and stop watching cartoons, and some of us may have just been straight up bullied and called losers. We were outcasts no, of the I social never told hierarchy, anybody and I did. if I'm being real, I think this is a big reason why power fantasy stories have or seen the bullied. monumental success that they have. Wait, you're telling me this guy can beat up all the arrogant jocks and get all the chicks and his secret OP talent is being a gamer? It's a shallow reason, but it's true. We might not want to admit it, but the viewership and sales numbers don't lie because we can't seem to stop fucking reading it. So Basically, this is one of the reasons he's doing this, because soul leveling is also about... There is a gaming part. The guy isn't really a gamer. Not the main part, not like in Sora Online. Is, it's about time weebs got our spotlight as the on. most oppressed group in the world over the current one. MMO. Gamers. The problem is that the landscape became so saturated with them that it became impossible to tell good power fantasy shows from bad power fantasy shows. Sure. Because they were all bad. When the industry realized okay. that all it took was one self-insert protagonist like power in some generic fantasy world, surrounded by a bunch of cardboard cutouts that were easily mistaken for women, they decided to make a lot. No, nope. keep going. Well, yeah, but not all of these are bad. I've seen two. I've seen Sao and Overlord, and Overlord is fucking amazing. You shut the fuck up if you say it's bad. And I heard no game, no life was alright. I know what the other ones are. Like, a little more. There we go. Let's see, second bit. Nope. Keep going. Uh, I heard Rising of Shield Hero was okay. Misfit of Demon Academy seems. I think. I heard it's good. Slime is fucking amazing. Uh, pum, 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 pum. 
Da, no, what other... A little more... Mashako Tensei seems to be great. Gigax himself Gant, uh, said that it's good. Lock Horizon they've also talked about on the podcast. It said it's good. Uh, yes, that's about it of all I know of these ones. There we go. Time to add these shows to the list of things I'm going to watch before Full Metal Alchemist. It got so bad that even me, Mr. Power Fantasy Isekai Trash Man, Grant UK, got bored of it. That is, until I started hearing whispers of this new webcomic called Geek Solo UK. Leveling. A series that had gained immense popularity over the past few years that had put it as the 27th best manga of all time according to Damn. Man. The Power Fantasy series to end all Power Fantasy series. Again, wait. For and the you may be thinking, adaptation. what revolutionary thing and did the game. series do that no other series before it had done to make Hopefully. its claim above all others? Is that, is that it? I, I thought we were building up to a bigger point. Solo leveling, originally a Korean manhwa called... You know what? I'm not even gonna try. Look, I already butchered the Chinese words in the link click video and now you expect me to speak fluent squid game? Don't you ever call me that! Strange gates to fantasy realms gradually appear throughout our world containing an array of powerful monsters and beings. Around the same time as this, select members of humanity gained various powers and- Also, if you haven't read Soul Leveling but you're going to, don't, ring so don't read Soul Leveling Zero. If you read it somewhere where it has Soul Leveling Zero chapter, don't read it. Because that goes through the, the whole beginning up to a certain point in very very short detail so you will know what happened but you don't know how so you kind of get spoiled because so leveling one is an actual start of the manga i fucking read zero and i hate it i hate that i did that and use them to combat this ongoing threat these people became known as hunters and grouped themselves in different guilds to team up to assault these gates killing the monsters and farming the resources within like you know an MMO. The hero of our story, yeah. one Song Jin Wu, oh, is ranked my... one of the weakest hunters in all of Korea. Even Not referred one to by his the... peers as the literal weakest hunter yeah. in the world. Basically, just a little baby man. Hey, little baby, man. baby, baby, baby man. man. Baby little baby, 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 baby man. However, one day upon his party entering a high level dungeon by mistake, shit very much hits the fan as the monsters within them the obliterate their entire party. Apart from the little baby man, of course. Baby man. Though he does die, he somehow managed to clear a secret set of trials. So he's the dungeon, going quite and through a lot of it. Hospital bed after the incident with a unique ability to literally be I think this is where zero ends. Full blown fucking menus and inventory screens in front of him in the real world, gaining experience and skill trees and all sorts of bullshit like you know an MMO. And so begins the rise of Sung Jin Woo from being a little There's baby man to becoming well. an ooh baby. Yeah, <laughs> he became fucking hot. This may sound very similar to your typical isekai power fantasy story, and if I'm being real, you're absolutely right. Yeah. The series clearly borrows a lot of elements from the genre, even True. if it's not technically isekai. But what it's I not. think really makes so leveling work is that it takes elements from your typical still the same isekai world. power fantasy and adds an element from your typical popular shonen anime. You know, the other most popular genre in anime and manga. True. Hunters are power ranked from S to E. The main characters and underdog working his way up the rankings. Unlike a lot of power fantasy from isekai, e really. Sung Jin Woo doesn't instantaneously power up. When yes, he I love that. When he is still an E rank. That's kind of the reason I liked uh, My Hero Academia because like the main character doesn't get, it's not just OP from the start. He kind of works himself up. It's pretty cool. Hunter and just slime is kind of to grind similar. His level up and oh boy, does he do some grinding? Sung Jin yeah. Wu and only Sung Jin Wu gets access to these special dungeons with high level bosses and rare item drops. And of course, like any true gamer, you gotta do all the optional side quests so you're stupidly overpowered for the final boss. You actually get yep. to see his progression throughout the series. The man is constantly on the verge of death in these dungeons, but he gets rewarded by the level he gains, the weapon he acquires, and the abilities he develops. I guess you could say he was leveling up on his own. Wait a minute, that's not the title. What does this mean? Also, I love that he's the art style of the whole thing remains the same. Every character looks the same throughout because why wouldn't they? But the main character, the more he level ups, levels up, he changes. The art style of him changes, like his facial features, his hair, all that stuff, his body. 
he becomes taller and stuff. It's fucking fantastic. I love it. Though, is that it's just that much more satisfying when Sanjin Wu. It's not just he changes his own paper. Normal dungeons. Look, seeing someone almost fucking die and doing a life or death optional side dungeon several times above his level, only to go in and breeze through the main quest area to the amazement of others, struck a chord with me. All right. Cause yeah. That's exactly how I play RPGs too. Can I be yes, it's a complete wish fulfillment power fantasy. But you know what? Yes, that's why it's great. Like earned it. Look, I'm not gonna pretend that the world isn't at least stupidly stacked in his favor though he is the only hunter who was able to level up while everyone else can only remain at the power yes he's like a chosen when they one first became hunters i repeat <laughs> he has the ability to power up while everyone in the world is at a fixed level cap that's like having the ability to take a shower when everyone around you is at an anime convention he gets so stupid <laughs> Shower OP. He gets so stupidly overleveled that he can outdo anyone in their specialized role. He's a mage, fighter, tank, assassin, healer combo. So he's basically just as toxic as season 10 Orn from League of Legends. But that's not even his main ability. Sure, I know. Eventually he gains it. the ability to summon Don't shadows from any monster he kills, essentially becoming a one-man army. Like, what the fuck? I think he goes a lot into it. Is set up for his success. The world is a mishmash of Sword Art Online, Darker Than Black, and One Punch Man. What I like is how modern society is built around the existence of hunters. You're not yes. just limited to one country. A nation's entire strength is built around the strength of their hunters. S-ranked hunters are a precious resource that can, can you dictate stop? the country's military and political strength. Sung Jin Woo's rise isn't just something that affects the hunter's world. It's one that ripples throughout the entire world and affects the geopolitical landscape. And this just gives him more fucking moments to be badass. I don't know oh, what to yeah, say. It what fucking I love does. about solo leveling is that it knows what it wants to be and gives you that on steroids. It ups the ante to a global scale. You've got teams from Korea, Japan, China, and of course, America, who are depicted as exactly how you think Koreans would depict Americans. 69. <laughs> I think one major aspect <laughs> that Kinda. can't be ignored is that the art is Fucking outstanding. Oh, Here's it's fantastic. Of working themselves to death doing weekly manga chapters. So I don't know what kind of fucking black magic the webcomic industry has cast to allow us to enjoy full colored weekly chapters that look like this. Yeah, I have no idea. This. this puts most manga to shame, but beyond that, it also uses its medium to its full advantage. Webcomics, as opposed to manga, are not separated via pages. It's a medium designed to be viewed on the phone that allows you to endlessly scroll down, almost like it's one continuous image. In a thing where I was reading it, it was slugging. The longer the page got, the laggier it got, but it was better than if it was just one page and then I had to scroll because per page, it's much less than a manga, but per scroll, it's more than one page of the manga. So, and yes, I'm saying manga, not manva. I'm completely... I'm... Comparing it to the manga, the Japanese manga I have read, this is the only manga I've ever read. So far. I love this one a lot, so I will probably read more. And what this means is that some of the most impressive moments are accentuated by these panels that seemingly never end. An epic depiction of a battlefield or action that flows seamlessly as you scroll down in a way that you just can't yeah. do with manga because it's pretty by fucking a cool. Page spread. It can make the action easier to follow or the scale of the battle seems so much more grand. I read all of solo leveling in a day. It's one of those series that was day? infinitely bingeable because after saying I guess, this, yeah. I think I'm missing the biggest thing that contributes to this manwa's success. Which is I read in like a couple of weeks, taking a few hours. Not like no, probably is a couple of weeks with some breaks in between, but it's probably took me about 14 days, but I've only taken like an hour or two a day to read it because I was doing it before I going to sleep and I had to stop myself forcefully to go to sleep. Nothing. You know, as but... all contributes to this man was success, which is nothing you know as i was writing this video i really tried to rack my brain as to why solo leveling was so fucking fun and such a huge success that way i can end this video off with some cool introspective moment that really nails down what makes this series so special above all its competition but then i realized what it really does best is absolutely nothing new so instead I'm gonna talk about Kitchen Nightmares. I fucking love Kitchen Nightmares, and I don't know a single person who doesn't. It's one of those shows where if it comes on or I see someone watch- I'm looking who the fuck asked. <laughs> what is happening now? No I'm sorry. What I'm doing, I'm just like, 
Yeah, okay. I got time to watch. And if you've never seen a single episode before, let me break it down for I've you. I've seen you moments. You up to a struggling restaurant with a cocky owner who's just like, I have the greatest restaurant in the world, the food is perfect, and that's why the restaurant put me in 90000 I don't want to spoil the ending. Yeah. In comes Gordon Ramsay. Big dick energy. Orders everything on the menu. Chef gets the order and is like, I'm going to cook Chef Ramsay our signature dish. My... Yeah. <laughs> My... <laughs> Microwaved chicken, baby. So of course, Gordon <laughs> takes one bite of the chicken, calls the waitress it's over, and is like, "This chicken raw. is rawer than my dick." After <laughs> continue, this chicken is rawer than my dick. One day after no no November. <laughs> So he goes to the kitchen, he's like, Oi, how are you cooking your food? With a microwave, chef. With a microwave? Are you out of your goddamn mind? <laughs> if you know Chef Ramsay is coming, well, why would you not cook your food on the day? <laughs> it blows my mind. So then, of course, Gordon has this inspirational talk that turns everything around. That's like, all right, shut it. I'm about to blow your mind. What if... I never knew about this part, actually. the food without a microwave. So they learn to use fresh ingredients and everyone lives happily ever after. I swear, just don't Google it because the restaurant's still probably out of business. And that's Kitchen Nightmares. <laughs> oh, that was awful, but I had way too much fun recording that. My point is... I'm glad you did. I know exactly what I'm getting into. Basically, every okay. episode has an identical, repeatable formula, but I don't yeah. care because it's so goddamn entertaining. And if it appears in my timeline that shows me that the food is not bussing, you bet your ass I'm going to click on it to see if the food's not bussing. This is how I feel with Chicken and a lot plate. of power fantasy shows. At this point, it's kind of just become my comfort food because when I look at solo leveling, there is not a lot different to what we usually complain about. I've seen a load of comments referring to Sun Jin Woo being like, haha, this is how Kirito's done right. And I'm just like, wait, what? Yeah, the man kinda, is even yeah. more perfect and flawless than Kirito ever was. I mean, the guy's functionally in- God, I wish I could go from this to this. Man went from rice gum to full-on K-pop in the span of about five chapters. He literally looks true. like the eighth member of BTS. So yeah, of course Kirito's gonna lose when he's up against the literal unbeatable army Sung Jin Woo has behind him. K-pop stands. Only re No. He is... When I heard the Kir his Kirito done right, I'm thinking it in a just literal sense. He's kind of like in a video game like Kirito is. They both level up, but they don't break the rules of the world they're in. I'm like fucking Kirito, I hate the ending of season one. Actually, like the last third of the season one, because that fucking breaks the rules, the power of love or whatever the fuck breaks the game code. What the fuck is that? Anyway, that's my biggest pet peeve and why I'm not watching it anymore. Elicization, fuck off. I watched two seasons. Spend enough time on that shit. Anyway, it's an okay show. There I can some interesting moments, but probably I need to watch more other isekai so I can compare it a bit better. But uh, Sanjo Wu doesn't break the world he's in. I mean, he breaks it with his power, but it's kind of in included with the power. It's cool. Recently, has enemies been introduced to actually pose a real threat? Because before that, yeah. pretty much every story arc plays out the exact same way. The shit is almost everything everyone shits on a show like Sword Art Online for. But for some reason, that's what they should. That's what my problem like, with Man, it. Man, you know what? The story's getting kind of repetitive. Sung Jin Woo would show up and be like, "Arise," and then the shadows would be like, Bruh! and then Sung Jin Woo would be like, "Shwing," and then his eyes would do the glory thing, and then it would just start kicking ass. And but then it's so else fucking would be cool. Like, to be an air ranked hunter? And then my brain would be like, oh man, that was so cool. What was I talking about again? It really yeah, is just it's a so rule fucking of cool, cool on crack. Yes. Its biggest strength is that it does nothing new, but what it does do is done in the best possible way I wish you can I hope for. If you could have delete no my memory and read it again. Epic power fantasy shows, then this isn't going to change your mind about them at all. But if there's just a small part of you that craves that OP protagonist beatdown, this is about as good as the genre can get. It just works yeah. for the medium it's in and for anyone who's like oh man i can't wait for the anime adaptation i have two words for you cg shadows solo leveling nope i'm gonna let that one sink in for a little longer is that solo confirmed is not the well i f mappa did a good job with cg i don't know 
Is it a Korean studio that's gonna make an anime, or do they give it to Japanese kind of some studio? Still. Is there a trailer? I'm gonna wait until the trailer pops up, the proper one. Like for Bleach, Bleach looks great, right? It's not, no CG Bankais. I don't fucking know. The 27th best manga of all time. It's not even close, but very few other webcomics get my adrenaline pumping quite like solo leveling does. This is power fantasy at its finest, which is perfect for isekai power fantasy trash like me. And even though it does fall victim to pretty much everything we complain about when it comes to those generic power fantasy stories, predictable and all, it is your definition of turn your brain off fun. Basically, what it boils down to is Sword Art Online. The cooler. Sword Art Online. I mean, that's what the I good one. Baby man. Hey guys, Do you? hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you I guess again he does. to Tales of Luminaria. Thanks Joey again doesn't. to Tales of Luminaria for sponsoring me today. Everybody and also, thank you very much to Alpha Sigma, Basil, Dysfunctional Degenerate, and oh, yeah. I Vito. Thank Jeff, you too. Levados, Manapla, Pain Patchet, Pony Stark, Walter, Sergei and everyone else, my and... Patreon, for helping to support me for this month. I know I'm a bit behind on Hangouts, guys. It just clicked my mind. And Nitrogen. Thank you too. For supporting me on Patreon and thank you. It's me, Langs, or wherever you are on YouTube. Thank you, Langs. Thank you, Winter Chill. Thank you, Nitrixen again. Thank you, everybody else. There you are all in the description below who, who gave me money. Thank you all. Kill me. So, yes, I'm now setting up in my new place. Please ignore the background. It is a work in progress. But hopefully, this means I have a more stable working environment at home rather than going to the office every day. Like a normal person so once i get everything set up i'll not only keep doing the videos i'm doing but hopefully you guys should get more streams as well that's the plan i guess it is stream that to you strictly anyway that's it from me today no further updates I've you're getting a lot of streams from me if you're watching next time i'm playing nettle ring in the moment okay Hello, level. Well, that's a good frame to end it on i think it's actually if you google you can find this frame i think there are a lot of similar ones. But still, it's such a good... Just... Story in general. Like, I don't want to say it's such a good manga because I haven't read any manga. Besides this one, I can't say it's such a good manga. Can I say it's such a good comics? Because manga, manga, and like American comics are kind of the same thing, the same category. It just... It's a good media thing. Because in comparison to other mangas, in comparison to other things I've read, like American comics or mangas, it's still one of the best ones I've ever read. I actually, I am reading the best things that I hear of. Like, One Piece is fantastic, okay? I'm, I'm reading it. I'm reading it ongoing. Um, what is it? Demon Slayer. I've read it all. It's been a while since I did it already. And I watched... I want to say watching season 2 with a friend. It's over at this point. It was fucking amazing. You don't expect that. The best anime show I've ever seen. Anyway. It's great. It's just a good good show. If you like power fantasies, go for it. If you like drama, human drama. Because he gets that power, right? The power that only he in the world possesses of leveling up, of upgrading his rank. How is he gonna go about it? How would you go about it? Because people are gonna be jealous. Maybe some people would want to kill him. Who knows? How would he go about it? How did he go about it? Because the manga's finished. Manga, fuck! Keep forgetting it. Anyway, thank you anybody who watched this. I prolonged this long enough. I appreciate it a lot. I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Have a great life because one of us has to.